Okay, let's talk about the new Affinity software that was released on October 30th, 2025. So lots of great things with this Affinity software. First of all, it's free. Amazing. Thank you, Canva. Thank you, Affinity. Um, the next thing is there's no Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. It's just all Affinity, so you can edit pixel-based images and vector-based images all in this one Affinity software. This is something I wish Adobe had done years ago, consolidated Photoshop and Illustrator, but of course they have never done that. Um, maybe Affinity is starting from a little bit better place because their software has always been a little bit more bare bones, a little more simple, but now this means they can kind of have a fresh start and add new features. And I think it's going to be really good for graphic designers, especially people like us doing t-shirt graphics and merch graphics, logo graphics, and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you a couple things here. Let's go ahead and go into the new Affinity. You can get this at affinity.studio. They they're not paying me to talk about it, but a lot of our customers use Affinity and I think a lot more are gonna start using it, especially because it's free, it's got new features. Let me go into one of our graphic templates here. Let's go to File Open, and I'll go into this Howdy collection. These are Western graphics. And with our graphics and templates and tools we offer for Affinity, they're all saved in Affinity 1 or Affinity 2. This isn't gonna affect you if you have the new Affinity. You'll just have to click OK that you're acknowledging it's a legacy document. When you resave, it'll save in the new Affinity format. And we'll just click OK. And you'll see here that you can highlight the text just as before and change it. You can change the fonts. You can change all the colors and the graphics. Everything's works as before. Um, let me show you another thing. So let's go ahead and let's open. This is one of my favorite things with the new Affinity. Let's open an image here that I made in Procreate. And Affinity now has an image trace feature, which they never had before. So with this selected, and we're in vector mode here, let's go to vector image trace. And in certain ways, this is already better than Adobe because we've got a split view here where we can see before and after. And you can see it changes the image a little bit. The only sort of bad part I see right here is in this petal, we're losing some detail there. So I can move these sliders to lower or raise the tolerance and threshold and we'll see how that affects things but no matter what I do that little area that's not looking so great is is still being affected but it's not too bad and I think affinity is probably going to fix this sooner than later but let's go ahead and click apply I think that looks great so as I said we offer lots of tools for affinity Unfortunately, um, they haven't released an iPad version of this new Affinity yet. So we're gonna leave all our tools and templates Affinity 1 or Affinity 2 version. But like I said, this, this won't affect you if you have the new Affinity. Other than that, be sure to check out our new t-shirt texture machine for Affinity. This will allow you to apply instant texture options to your graphics right in Affinity and check out all of our other tools for Affinity. Thanks for watching.